Hi, hi. It's a tiny gamer, and welcome to day. Oh, how am I gonna just? Uh, uh, oh. Nineteen of uh, Vlogmas. <clears throat> I. God, next Monday is gonna be Christmas. That's. Like I said, some parts of this year feel like they flew by, and then other parts feel like they've dragged so much. Um, I see my dad in a couple of days. And two days, actually. I see him on Thursday. <clears throat> I still don't know where we're going to go eat. I think uh, he's going to give me a call tomorrow so that we figure out you know, where we're going to meet up and have some little get-together. But first, let's uh, do this. We're on 19. What's this? Or oh, recipe. Oh my god. Got three this time. No. We have four. Okay. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the format that I've been doing these recipes with. Uh, is there a... I think there's an order to this. I'm not sure. But we have the <clears throat> Healthquake Salad Shake. The Sucrocorp Grilled Corn. <clears throat> the Elvis Burger. Oh my god. I actually like the Elvis burger might be interesting to recreate and the Jack's breakfast cereal milkshake oh my god no hate but I, I didn't care for Jack I just didn't but eh. <clears throat> it's neither here nor there so first, I'm going to read off the Healthquake Salad Shake. <clears throat> so it's one cup salad dressing, one cup chopped cooked chicken, one cup shredded carrots, one cup chickpeas drained, one cup quina, quinoa, quina, Q-U-I-N-O-A, cooked, one English cucumber chopped, and two cups mixed greens. Divide the salad dressing among the four mason jars. Layer the chicken, carrots, chickpeas, quinoa, cucumber, and greens in the jars in that order. Refrigerate until you're ready to eat, then shake in the jar and pour out in the bowl. Hence the pitcher. Okay. <clears throat> now for the sucro corp grilled corn. For the herb butter, it's one cup, which is two thicks, butter melted, four tablespoons fresh herbs such as chives, rosemary, thyme, or parsley chopped. I almost said thyme, that's not a word. For the corn, four ears fresh corn chopped or shucked, and salt and pepper. <clears throat> to make the herb butter, combine herbs and butter in a medium bowl. Cover and refrigerate for at least an hour until the butter is firm. If you prefer a smoother butter, combine the herbs with room temperature butter in a food processor. To make the corn, heat a grill to high heat. Wrap each individual ear of corn in foil and grill for about 30 minutes until corn is tender. Remove from heat and allow to cool slightly. 
unwrap corn and serve with herb butter and season with salt and pepper. Okay. <clears throat> For the Elvis burger, two pounds ground beef, salt and pepper, one tablespoon neutral cooking oil, one half cup peanut butter, one tablespoon butter, two bananas sliced, one table or two teaspoons loosely packed dark brown sugar, eight slices of cooked bacon, and eight glazed donuts. <sighs> to make the hamburgers, divide the ground beef into four equal sized patties, forming them loosely one shirt much will ensure more even cooking. Season both sides with salt and pepper. Heat the oil in a large, heavy frying pan over high heat. Cook the burgers on high, four minutes per side for medium and five minutes per side for medium well, making sure there is a good sear on the outside. Remove from the heat, top with peanut butter, and tent with foil to keep warm. Wipe out the pan and melt the butter over medium heat. Add the sliced bananas and brown sugar and cook, stirring until soft, about three minutes. Remove from heat. Place each hamburger on a donut, then top each with two slices of bacon and some of the bananas. Top with another donut and serve. Oh, God. That looks good, but gross at the same time. Also, it looks a bit too much. And lastly, we have Jack's Breakfast Cereal Milkshake. It's going to be two cups of vanilla ice cream, one half cup of milk, one half cup sweet breakfast cereal, plus more for garnishing and whipped cream for topping. Only two uh, directions. Combine the ice cream, milk, and cereal in the blender and blend until smooth. Pour into a tall glass, top with whipped cream, and garnish with more cereal. That's it. <laughs> so whoa, we have more recipes to do. Um, again, if I ever do any of these recipes, um, I'll either post a video about it or I will post photos about the um, results on Instagram. Uh, so... I've been enjoying my monster. It is a salted caramel. And I have the paper on it because I um, put my name on it so that nobody else would snag it. Um, so, yesterday's video has one view. It was an important video, and it has one view. So, if you can, I know it's like double the size of my other vlogs. If you could please go and give it a watch, or like have it in the background or something like that, I'd be grateful. <clears throat> it's important to listen to, you know. It's, it's Important is something that I need to get out so that others will know coming out to this channel about me and everything. But it's a little discouraging, but it's still, it's whatever. I'm, I realize I'm small, so that's going to happen. But I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. It's fine. Um, otherwise, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, with the weather being the way it is. Today was, or yesterday was a little rough, but... I got through it, and then just one more day, and um, then as my roommate said, it's Catter Day, 
We have three days off uh, with the kiddies. But, um, I haven't looked at the comments for yesterday's video because I haven't gotten a chance to um, get into the comments. But, so far I haven't seen anything. It's it's fine though. That it will still be up for anyone in the future that or yeah, anyone who later on happens to come across it. Um oh I put my ornaments on the tree. Uh it's like I said, the tree's not much and I tried to put them up to where the cats don't get to it, but, um, I'm glad I have my little tree set up and I can have ornaments are light enough that I can actually put in the tree. I'm still looking for a tree skirt and a topper for the tree, but that'll, that'll come in time. <clears throat> Alright, um. Actually, I'm going to go show you. Let me go show you the ornaments. See, would you appreciate if I grab you and brought you with me? Let's see. Back to my house. <clears throat> Alright, let me... It's not on, but it's fine. Let me show you the trick. There's enough light. So there's that, those two ornaments. And then here is this one. And then here's the other one. <clears throat> okay, now for the venture back. Mm. Stomach is making gurgly noises. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, if you do. I saw we. Okay. And you're back. Okay. Um. I don't really have much more to say. So, probably a good idea to end this video here, but yay! Got more ornaments for the tree. I got some more recipes. And, um, I'm just day by day. Just day by day. Oh, some sad news. So, um, on my vest, I tend to have a lot of, like, pins and all that stuff that mean something to me. Uh, some of it, uh, well, most of them, friends have give, given to me. Some I've gotten on my own. Um, a couple I've gotten through, like, wine boxes and that sort of thing. But, unfortunately, some of my pins have... Because when I work, I'm small, so the counter is like, I'm closer to the counter and register and all that than other people, so I'm bumping into it almost constantly. <clears throat> Plus, I'm so small, I have to be like real close. And it knocks into my vest, and it knocks into my buttons, and... Um, this one... The, it kept unhooking from this. So I took that off for, just so I won't lose it. And then my RM button, it kept unhooking as well. And I actually lost this one. Like it popped off my vest twice. Uh, just the other day. Like, I 
one one of the times I didn't see it happen, and I was helping the customer when I heard some of my coworkers talking about BTS, and I like you know my my little radars went whoop, you know I was like what, and they were talking about my pen that I dropped that they didn't make the connection that it was mine. So, they're off my vest. They're in my room. They're safe. Um, at some point, I'm going to get an Eda bag and put those on that so they'll be safer in, in an enclosed environment. But, <clears throat> Right now, they're just going to chill on my desk. I'm just glad I didn't lose them because, especially this one. Because my friend, who actually was the one who encouraged me to start a YouTube channel in the first place, gave me that one, that button. <clears throat> so it's extra special. But, I mean, I guess it happens. And the fact that I've taken these buttons on and off, more than one vest, and I've taken them on and off a few times so I can wash my vest and everything. It's I knew they weren't going to last that long, just opening and closing them like I was. It's fine. It happens. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, hopefully today will be a nice chill day. The weather won't be that good so that not a lot of people will be traveling. Hopefully they've already gotten their shopping done. <clears throat> and... I just, my coworkers and I need a, a little break, a little bit of, you know, uh, peace <laughs> amidst all the stress and chaos and everything that's the holidays and working retail and working customer service. So that's going to be all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Take a recipe. Any recipe.